A uh, viewer from Lyon County wants to revisit, wants us to go back to the CRP question, uh, and I'm going to draw on your expertise in this area. I'm just going to read the viewer's question, and we'll see if we can help him, help him or her. Why does the government pay more for CRP than the ongoing rental rates? This is forcing young farmers out. That's a good question, and they should. So now explain to our viewers why that's a good question. Because, because we are, we're paying more money in some in areas than the rental rate in that county. And now when we say we, we mean the, the federal, federal government? government for CRP. Right. Okay. And we have tried to administratively deal with this, and it has not worked. What I would say is the underlying problem is the system has been hijacked by some environmental and conservation groups that are willing to pay whatever money they have to to get the land that they want to get. In the Farm Bill, this has been the area I've been working on, one of the areas, to reform this. And I've been able to convince, I think, everybody in the country now of what I started talking about a year and a half ago. And that is to have a rule that no CRP could be more than 80% of the rental value in that county. And I think that's a market-based approach to get at this issue. You know, one of the other issue is we've got good land going into the CRP that should be farmed. And we got land that shouldn't be farmed that's not getting in. And part of the reason is this EBI that they came up with and all these other rules that, that uh, screwed up the system. So my thinking is that if you have an 80% limit, you're not going to put good farmland into the system for 80%. Right, because you'll get less money. For, right. you'd, you'd get more money to farm. Right, yeah. So that's the major reform that I'm pushing in the farm bill to get at this. And you can't do this nationwide because the rental rates are different. You know, I mean, I have land in Pennington County. You know, the rent up there is 40, 50 bucks an acre. You know, down in Lyon County, it's probably 200. You know, so you've got to accommodate that. But we have in Lincoln County, $255 an acre contract a year ago. Down in uh, Iowa, $355 an acre. For CRP, you know, so we're we're on this. We're trying to fix it, um, but some of the groups out there are not helpful. The, the grain and feed people, they want to get rid of CRP because they don't think grain is cheap enough. I guess, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> but so what they want to do is they want to. They've been lobbying me to put in the law that prime farmland cannot go into CRP. Well, there is no definition of what prime farmland is. But we know it when we see it. Yeah. But, I mean, you want to talk about a fiasco. If you want to put that in the law and tell the USDA to define prime farmland, you know, we put wetlands in the farm bill in 85, you know, in, in 2018. We still have not settled on what a wetland is. We still have blue dots and yellow dots and so forth that are still being argued over from 1985. And if you put in prime farmland, you'll have the same situation. So I think my uh, idea is better because it'll it's simple and I think it'll work. Secretary Purdue picked up on it. He's now talking about it. I got uh, Fezzes Forever supporting it, the Ducks Unlimited supporting it. Uh, so if we get a farm bill, we're gonna we're gonna change this because it's it's wrong. And. And if you could just explain to our viewers, the viewer's question was, it forces young farmers out. How, how does that work? Well, because they can't get the land. They, they, they're, the, the CRP is paying more than they can afford to pay. Okay. See, you know, uh, it's, it, right now it's it's very big problem for young farmers. And it's not just CRP. Hmm. They're, they're competing against established farmers that have deep pockets. Or, in some cases, 1031 exchange money coming out of the Twin Cities where they sold some real estate and they're trying to avoid taxes <laughs> and going out and buying farmland at inflated things. So there's already too much competition. So one of the things that Tim Walls and I did put in the farm bill is that young farmers get a first crack at CRP when it comes out of the system. And that's somewhat of what, they, what they're talking about. Uh, we're trying to figure out ways that we can make land available to young people because we need young people in farming. We need to try to do it in a way that's affordable, you know, and it's tough. It's tough to get started in agriculture given how much everything costs nowadays and the prices 
being what they are. Mm -hmm. Frankly, the people that have done the best at starting it, guys that are starting off in small with organic mm -hmm. niche markets, you know, uh, they're, they've done better than um, conventional. Mm -hmm. And that's good. You know, we, we're trying to support that.